So we create a variable and this is going to be called user underscore name and this is going to be the prompt that actually prompts the user to enter their name. So uh, we use the JavaScript prompt function and we type in please enter your name. So now once we enter our page this will prompt the user to enter a name. So let's refresh. Uh, so we've got please enter your name. Uh, if I type in Alex, now that, that's then stored uh, Alex inside this username variable. So now Alex uh, is equal to username, uh, sorry, username is equal to Alex. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and actually send this uh, username to users.php uh, to be able to put into the database. Uh, but we're not going to do that just yet, um, so I'm just going to put a comment in here, uh, send username to users.php. Uh, and we also have a uh, an action as well. So the action uh, will be, let me think, what did I call it before? Um, I think I called it user joined, I think, yeah. So we'll just say user underscore joined or joined. So the action for to send to uh, users.php, we're sending two variables. The first variable is username, and the second variable is action. And based on the action, either joined or left, uh, or um, you know, like list or something. I think we'll call the action. Uh, it will perform a specific action. So um, now that we have uh, established sending the actual variable, uh, we need to go ahead and set an interval uh, that will retrieve a list of um, values. So we need to set an interval, and inside here we uh, run a function. Now at the end of this, we, we give a second parameter, and this is the amount of milliseconds, so that's 500, which is half a, a second. Uh, you can choose a second, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that brings me on to another point of this tutorial. Uh, we are going to be sending, in this case, a lot of uh, queries per second. We're going to be sending two database queries per second, or MySQL queries per second. Uh, and this can you know, slow down or, or overload it wouldn't really overload because we're just selecting but uh, it is a sort of like unnecessary amount of queries to be performing so bear in mind that this method if you're performing a lot of queries uh, will send too many requests to a database and uh, it can be inefficient so here what we want to do is um, get list of users uh, and the action we are going to call list oh sorry list not left list so every 500 milliseconds, we're sent. We're sending a uh, an HTTP request to users.php, and the action is going to be list, and that will just retrieve the list of de uh, of users. So quite simple. Uh, the the last thing we want to do is we want to handle when the user actually leaves the page, so either closes the window or navigates away. So we use window dot unload, and inside here we then create our function outline. And what we want to do on window unload is remove user name, um, and that's by sending that to users.php. Um, and then the action will be left, i.e. not left as in left and right, it will be left as in the user has left. So from users.php, we can start writing this out now because we've outlined what we want to do, which obviously doesn't work yet. The, when the user joins, they enter their username and it sends this to users.php and puts it into the database. Every 500 milliseconds, it retrieves a list of these values in the database. And when we unload the window, we remove the user from the database. So quite a simple outline uh, in, in uh, jQuery there uh, of exactly what we're doing. Uh, let's just go ahead and connect to our database and then we'll go ahead and look at the database structure. It's extremely, extremely simple, uh, but we'll take a look at it anyway. So we're connecting to a MySQL server. For me, this is localhost root and uh, I don't have a password set. Uh, we're also then selecting a particular database uh, and this database is jQuery. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jQuery database. So over to phpMyAdmin, we have, let's just browse, and let's just delete that and look at the structure. So we've only got one field in here. I haven't set a primary key. Um, obviously, you would always set a primary key in a database. 
um, usually auto incrementing but we've got a field called username and that's length of 55 so essentially all I've done is created a database called jQuery and I've got a table called users uh, there's another table in here called places but you can just ignore that for now uh, we're going to be focusing on the users table so now that we've taken a look at the directory structure we all know how to write our queries uh, so we can go ahead and start to uh, write users.php out. Uh, I'll go ahead and close db.php because uh, we no longer need it. In fact, let me just check that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so inside users.php, the first thing we want to do is require in db.php. So we have database access. Uh, we then want to go ahead and outline the functions that we're going to be using. So the first function is user underscore join. Uh, then we've got uh, user underscore uh, left, I think, yeah, or joined. And then lastly, we have user underscore list, which will list users. Now, user join takes a, a username, so that's user underscore name. User left, uh, left takes a, a one parameter, again, username. And user list doesn't take any parameters uh, because obviously we're just returning a list of the values. 